What is up guys, DC here, and I'm about to do my YouTuber Grand Championship match. I'm facing off against Asian Persuasion 2008. I'm sure you all know about his channel. He's been in this for like a long time. Um, yeah, and I'll kind of talk about the plays as I'm going along here, I believe. He should know I'm ready. Um, yeah, I'll just type ready to him. We are on Dev Pro, actually. I haven't played on Dev Pro in a while. Um, I've been playing on Yu-Gi-Pro and Dueling Book mostly, but so I had to transfer my deck over. Hopefully this is like the right deck, and hopefully Deadpool doesn't like crash or anything. Um, as far as the rules for this go, uh, that we banned like seven uh, good decks. So it was ABCs, Metal Foes, Paleozoics, Light Swarns, Mermails, and Zodiac, I believe, and Infernoid possibly. Um, so all those decks are banned and you can't use any cards with those names in your, in the title. It's so, like you can't use Minerva and here, let me, yeah. Okay. Now we should know that already. Um, okay, sweet. So all those cards are banned. So you can't use like Minerva. You can't just use like a broad bowl. Oh, we got the die roll. Nice. Um, we're playing Sky Scourge. Holy fuck. What you're uh, we drew a tech tom pork. This thing's actually really bad. Um, yeah, so we're playing Sky Scourge because I wanted to... <sighs> that's rough. Holy shit, that's rough. What can we even do here? I was <laughs> I was going to say I want to play this deck just to, like, cheese people. Um, but when we draw this, it's, it's kind of hard to do that. I guess... The plan is, um, I don't know, to mill a wing. What did we banish, first of all? That kind of matters. Oh, there's a vendor. Fuck, we banished one of the wings. So it's basically impossible to mill a wing here. But uh, I guess there's, there's like a couple other mills that we could have. Um, anyway, though, I want to play this deck because it's sort of like a cheese deck in that, like, because in this tournament, there's a lot of potential good decks, right? And you don't really know what you're going to face. So this is sort of akin to, like, um, Worlds format where... Oh, my God. That was actually the best possible mill. I feel really bad. <laughs> that we milled the wing, the vendor, and a graph. What the actual fuck? Oh, we banished... We don't have a Skarm, though. That's kind of annoying. Did, I'm playing Drag Gig in this build. That's interesting. Um, yeah, probably just the Drag Gig. Holy shit, that was crazy. I must I must just be playing two Skarms. I'm pretty sure I am. That was that was pretty fucking good though, I'm not gonna lie. That was ridiculous, basically. Um I guess I should probably use the transmodify right now. Should I reveal what I'm playing? Cause I just want to uh, get that out of the deck, right? Well, then I can't. Then I have to stack the deck with Drag Egg. I don't really want to use Drag Egg's effect, I don't think. I mean, I could stack like a Seer. That doesn't really do anything. I just want to. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of it. Um, but anyway, this is like Worlds format, and in that, like, you don't really know what's going to be played. And uh, that matters because it basically means uh, you just want to play the deck that has the least amount of interaction with your opponent. And this deck obviously doesn't have, like, any interaction with your opponent straight yes so that's why it's good well that's really bad <laughs> that's pretty bad oh my god we can't really do anything then it's rough we can set the <laughs> oh no what have i done i've made a terrible mistake i guess that's our turn Anyway, this deck's supposed to be consistent, but that's, like, the worst play ever. What is he playing? I was I was guessing the Teller Knights. Um, we'll see here. That, that's what I was guessing. Yep. And the Teller Knights are really scary um, against Aaron this because they have the... Because, like, he had a dagger right there. So Satellers are scary because they have the one... Or the two-card Triver, which is, like, incredible. And I'm assuming that's what he's going to do here, because when I was looking at the decks that were legal for this tournament, I noticed that 
Um, a lot of the ones that Johnny plays are actually banned. I mean, he plays White Swarns a lot, and that's what he's played the majority of the latter half of 2016. He played Minerva Swarn at like a bunch of regionals, topped a bunch of regionals, did really good and was very successful. So I kind of figured that that's what he'd be playing for this, but then Light Swarns got banned because you guys don't know it, but it was a really long process trying to figure out what decks were going to be banned and at first it was just i believe uh metal foes um zoo infernoid and paleozoics and then abc's got added and then light swarms got added and then mermails got added and then for a while it, it wasn't even going to be the switching up decks thing but the problem was is that every time a deck got banned there was always like another best deck so like in this format i would say that like wind witch artifact I think everyone is sort of pegged as, like, the best deck. But then, like, there's other decks like Blue Eyes and DDD, stuff like that that's pretty powerful. But, like, it's only powerful when you ban, like, enough. So the problem was is that every time we ban a deck, <laughs> there was a, a best deck to make up for it. And uh, so people kept... Because, like, people really wanted Burning Abyss to be banned. That was, like, the biggest, the next biggest one that people were crying about. And in that situation, it's like, do we just... You can't keep banning every deck, because, I mean, that would just be really annoying. Quaking, that's really... Deltaros, he's not even going to trigger. Probably wants to pop the back row. <laughs> Got him. He can't even get over the Dante. Hmm. That's rough. Set three pass. Yep. That's not good. What does Deltaros even do? Specials guy from the deck, right? Yeah. Tour guide. Okay. How can we... Well, we do have... What's cool is that... Wait. Let's turn... This card is from the field. Oh, never mind. I mean, we can... We have a far Farfunder here, so we can sort of bait it. That's pretty cool. Libic isn't really going to do anything, unfortunately. But... Uh... I really wish we milled a Rhino. That would have been good. Because then we could have... What? Oh, it can special summon Tour Guide. I was like... <laughs> no thanks. I'm guessing he has, like, Call of the Haunted. Strike. Ooh, that's rough. There's, like, a lot of negation that we have to worry about here. <laughs> it's not looking good for us. I really screwed up, though. I think I should have... I don't know. I mean, like, I could have stacked a Seer with the Dragig, but I really wanted to try to mill the Sky Scorch. It's, it's actually just really unlucky. I hate complaining about luck, but it's it's pretty unlucky that, like, I didn't hit a Rhino or a Sky Scorch. Did I banish a Rhino? Or... Fuck. <laughs> I think we're... I think we're donezo here. I mean, I guess I'll keep playing because it's the it's the yugi tubing championship but i'm also like 99 percent sure that i lost because i didn't even banish any rhinos is, did i see that correctly yeah i didn't even banish any rhinos which is like sort of frustrating so that means in the 12 cards there is still the hmm. it, i mean it, it happens with this deck for sure What do I even kill? The, that guy. It's rough out there. It'd be, it'd be fine if we had a if we had any BA in hand to make a Beatrice, because we don't. It's it's rough. This is this is so bad. I even won the die roll and then I couldn't even do the combo. Now I'm gonna look stupid. Oh shit. <laughs> Should I surrender? Probably. I mean, like, yeah, I definitely. <laughs> I definitely can't beat that. It was, it was too tough. Um, yeah, I guess I'll save the replay. Okay, what are we playing against the Tellers? Well, we're going first, so... I always have this internal debate whether or not I'm supposed to side out the combo pieces or whatever. Because it's like... I mean... I don't know. Transmodify is probably like the worst thing. <laughs> I mean, we could side Vanity's Fiend, but he probably has like a bunch of outs for it. That's, 
I don't know. It's it's sort of like weird how I side deck with this deck because like <laughs> like you don't really need the twin sisters if you're going first and actually can combo. But I guess I'll just put in a vanity fiend and call it a day. I don't know. <laughs> Do I just not have Rhino on that? Oh, okay. It's like we were always we were always side decking one vanity fiend and one. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, let's try to combo this game. Okay, so we have the combo. That's the important part here. And so we have the combo, and uh, we'll actually get like a bunch of draws because we have. We'll put the wing in grave, and the vendor will switch bear. That's pretty crazy. Happens. Unless he has ghost ogre, in which case I will scoop. If he has ghost ogre, I'm gonna cry. Okay. Can't you like not order chains in? Yeah. We were always at impair. And we drew desires. Holy fuck. Um, it doesn't actually matter what we stack because we're gonna get rid of it. But anyway, send him a little smiley. What is it? What does he have in here? Oh shit! He has barrier statue. Oh my god. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, that's that's awesome though. I like that. This is pretty ridiculous, I would have to say. So we just have to draw some BA monsters basically. Heck yeah, I want to destroy Toy Vendor. Heck yeah, I want to search your Toy Vendor. Okay, we just need to draw any Brain Abyss monster. Or shit. I bet we banished attack down board. We didn't banish attack down board. We're the best in this game. Amazing. We did it. <laughs> we redeemed ourselves. That's exactly what Jesus wanted. Dude, I don't know. I mean, I got destroyed last round. So, I'd say we both got equally destroyed. But he could maybe top deck stuff? And we milled a Skarm. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. The best. We were always getting the best possible mills in the game. Can I summon this? I can't. I don't think we banished Tour Guide. Nice. Okay, Johnny, what can you top deck here? Rhoda, that's not a big deal. That was a good top deck, though. But yeah, it's not that big a deal just because I'll just farfa it and then he'll die. So I don't have a farfa. Okay, thank God. I was like, if I don't have a farfa. This is gonna be rough. Then I would have guess. I guess I would have sent Alec or something. Probably want to add back Skarm. Yeah. We'll get rid of... Uh, it actually doesn't matter, so... That guy. So now I, I actually do kind of have to kill him next turn, though. Um, just because he'll have... I don't know. I guess I don't know what I have. Ooh, that's pretty good. Pretty good. It, it's, it's, it's all right. You want to see it some of the time, not all the time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what are we doing here? Barbar -bar probably? Or we don't know where we're gonna mill, so I guess Rhino. Probably Dante, I guess. Or is that even? Should I go for Levier? Do I have? Don't I have a Tacaton Borg engrave? I don't. Oh, it's under the Beatrice. Okay. Um, yeah, probably just Dante, I, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Dante Mill. 
send a seer. Seer's probably banished, to be completely honest. I don't know. No. <laughs> Should I activate Alex effect? Probably not. What do we got here? Um, bar bar. We were always banishing these fucking cards. I guess we could probably we I actually probably could have just got rid of the Dante to be completely honest, um, just because. Okay, what are we doing? I don't even know. We have like Vanity Fiend. I think I use my normal summon. Yeah, I use my normal summon. We actually are in a pretty rough spot. <laughs> I like just realized that. Um, can't really do anything else. I don't think. I mean, I could, I could vendor to mill something. I think I have to make guy charger. I don't know. I don't know. This is this is a weird situation. Maybe we can mill something not shitty. Well, that happens. This I might actually just lose, which is kind of frustrating. I could uh leave the well, he doesn't know I don't have a Farfa. That's kind of important. I mean, I would assume that I would have a Farfa, right? Okay, what is... What's under these? That one is Tear Guide. That one is Takaton Borg. Um... I kind of just want to make guide chargers set it when he, uh, I don't even know. I don't even really know. Because he's just going to bounce everything. I guess I'll just have to play it, like, maybe he'll just assume I have Farfa. That's actually just how we have to play it. Maybe that'll change his mind. I don't know. It seems like a really bad idea. <laughs> this just seems like a... Waiting for the thingy... Oh, so he drew the third all... This this could... Or, oh, sorry. They're both in grave. They're both in grave. Like, I don't know what the rank four guy does besides rank up into stuff. So... All face up, special summon... I guess I just have to wait. I don't know. <laughs> like, he'll, because he'll make a triver, he would have to. There'd be no reason not to. Yeah. What can you get rid of here? Skarm search graph, basically. Seems good. Oh, I don't even think I'm playing Nightmare Shark. I'm gonna get fucked on that probably. Select one random card. That's dangerous. Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. For me. Mostly. Oh god. If that's a Nova, we might actually just lose. Where does this bring him out? From the graveyard. That's crazy. I should have made the guy charger then. I guess I just thought he would do a different play. That's rough. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's like... There's like one play we can make here. I don't know. I don't know if he'll fall for it. If he has strike. If he has Quaking Mirror Force, I'll lose. So that's rough. <laughs> I think we have to do this. Does he have Nova? Ooh, we could have Nova. That'd be rough. His call. Okay. 
Oh, just trying to get monsters on the board? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Somebody just crashed into the trigger, and then... He actually might deck me out. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Because <laughs> what is what is even in my deck right now? Should I do something else? Should I try to... No, I mean, I have to do this, I think. What do we got in here? Because I don't have... Well, I could Sky Scourge him. What, when does this get its effect? Random card in your opponent. Or when this card is sent to the graveyard while it has exceed material. <laughs> hmm. I guess I have to summon this. This seems really bad though. I think I'm I think I'm gonna lose. I don't think I can kill him in enough turns. This is rough. Or it's gonna be like it's gonna be like I barely kill him. We'll have to see. Yeah, it's gonna be like if I do win, it'll be like just barely, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna lose. Cause uh normal summon. Is he even out for this? He might. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. All right, maybe we can do something with this. Well, what can we normal summon that's gonna like be good? I could summon Phantom doesn't do damage though. That's kind of the problem. Grab Rhino. I think I have to start normal summoning. Hmm. I don't know. Normal summon Terra Top. Seems good to me. Two cards left in deck, so I have two turns. Uh, it's going to be really close. It's going to depend on how many monsters he draws. Oh, yeah, you could do that, too. Please don't draw a monster. Okay, thank God. It's probably a Quaking. Probably lose. <laughs> Carter Demise again. Again. Bro. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's... Carter Demise again. Oh, no. Yeah, one of these is absolutely a mirror for us. Oh, God. Oh, foolish. Just what I needed. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have, we have no other plays, so... You get alpha that. He, he probably has a quaking. It happens. Warning. Ooh. I got Lisa, right? Probably. Fog blade. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Sad times. We were always losing to uh, the tellers. Yeah, he has it. Shit. Well, <laughs> it happens. Oh, man. That's rough. I'll see you guys later. Bye.